Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to create and use functions in C++. So to begin with, I have a C++ program here that is a simple personal ad maker. And it gets some information in from the user, like their favorite sport, and where they like to travel, and their age, and their lucky number. And then we combine all that information in to display their personal ad. So I'm going to run this so that you can see what this does. So we just have some introductory text asking the user what's their favorite sport and where do they like to travel, what their age is, and what their lucky number is. And then we generate a personal ad which has some static text in here. I enjoy taking long walks on the beach, etc., etc. And we start to incorporate some things in here from the information they gave us, like their favorite sport and where they like to travel. We also do a little bit of calculations in here. We're creating a variable called hours and we're taking what their lucky number is and multiplying it times 24 and using that to display how many hours they were stuck on a flight back from their favorite travel location. So the program runs straight through. There's no if statements, there's no branching or conditionals, anything in here. It's just going right straight through. But what we're going to do is learn how to take this and modularize it and break it up into different functions so that you can see how we can create functions and get information into and out of a function. So to begin with, at the top of our code, we have some variables that are initialized for strings and their age and their lucky number and the number of hours. So I'm going to leave that there and start with the next piece of information, which is our introductory text. So these are straight C out statements, but I'm going to begin by with using this to create a function and this function is going to be what's called a void function. It's not going to return anything. All it's going to do is go out and print this information. So I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to move to the beginning part of my program where I have int main and the name of my function again it's going to be a void function meaning it's not going to return anything uh, and I'm going to call it display intro. And then we have opening and closing parentheses. And we'll see what those are for in another example. And then I'm going to put in my opening and closing curly braces and then paste in the C out statements that I just used. So this defines and creates a void function called display intro. And when it runs, it's going to display the welcome to the personal ad maker and then tell me some things about yourself. So let me run this. I'm going to clear this out right now and we're going to run it. And you can see that it starts with what is your favorite sport. It didn't display welcome to personal ad maker. And that's because when you create a function, just by defining the function itself does not make it run. The only function in your C++ program that will automatically run is your main function. So you've seen in other examples when you run it, you don't have to do anything to make main run. It automatically starts there. But other functions that you create do not automatically run. So in order to get it to do the display info or display intro function, we have to do a function call. And when you call a function, you use the name of the function, and then we'll put in a semicolon. So this is saying, okay, when it gets to this point, there's a function called display intro. Come up to display intro, and we do these two C out statements. So now if I run this, we'll see that now it does run the display intro, and then it comes back down and continues running the rest of the program. So you can see with the void function, we're just outputting content. We're not sending any information back to our main part of the program. When it gets here, it just says run this, and 
And if we had 100 lines of code in here, it would run all 100 lines of code. Once it's finished, it comes back here and continues down with the rest of the program. So a void function is really good for just displaying output. So you can see that when you create a function, your functions are not inside the main function. Right? We can't have a function inside a function. So they are outside of the main function. Now in order for this to work, this has to be before main. If I cut this, let me just cut this out and I'm going to move it all the way to the end after my end main. I'm going to put a comment in here so that we can keep track of that's the end of the main function. And then I'm going to paste in my display intro here. So now if I run my program, I get a failed message because when I get to this point, it gets to display intro. The compiler doesn't know what display intro is. Even though it's in the program, it doesn't come until after main, so it doesn't know about it. So in order to be able to keep all of our methods after the main program, which is typically the way developers want to work, you want to have all of your other user-defined functions after main. I'm going to put a comment in here that just says user-defined functions. Because what that will do is keep the top part of your program a little cleaner, and then all of your functions that have, you know, hundreds of lines of code come at the end of it. So we can easily just come up to main and look and see how our program is supposed to work. So in order to be able to keep our functions after main, we have to include what's called a function prototype. Now the function prototype really is looks like the beginning part of our definition here, only it goes in before the main program. So this gets, just going to paste that in there. So we have to specify what type of a function it is, what's, what is it going to return something, and then the name of the function, and we'll look at the parentheses in another example in more detail, but for now this will be empty. And that's simply because we're not passing any data into it. So this will tell the compiler that there is a definition in the program for display intro. So now if I run it, no error, and it does do the display intro function to display this, and then it comes back in and starts running the rest of the program. So the key thing to remember is when you create a function, it goes outside of main. We have to specify the type of return information coming out of it. And in this case, it's void. It's not returning anything. It's just displaying some output. And then in order to have it after main, we have to include a function prototype, which tells the compiler this is a function that is defined later. And then to actually get our function to run, we have to call it. Say, so, okay, now when you get to this point in the program, the compiler should jump down here and execute the function that's been defined. So that is a void function.